But what I want to get into now is resin bonding protocol for indirect substrates. And really, what happens is, is when you when you have these new new uh, materials, you really have to have a protocol in your office. You can't just pick up the cement and push it on the tooth anymore. You have to clean it up. So if we remember our cheat sheet, conventional cement, adhesive cements, I want to just talk about adhesives right now. But if we were talking about conventional cement, what I use in my office is GC Fuji Sim 2. If I'm going to cement in a, in a, in a posterior region where I can't get light to it, I'm using a zirconia that doesn't let light pass through, I'm sub G. I'm going to use a Fuji Sim 2 where I can get that, you know, anti-karyogenic effect. I can make sure that the I'm not dependent on light. Um, it is going to take care of the adhesion. Now, I'm going to prime, and we're going to talk about this, I'm still going to prime my substrate, my zirconia or my Emacs if I'm using this, but this is a great fallback if you can't bond, because there are many times in the posterior lower arch that you just can't bond. Even in the upper arch, you just can't bond. So if you're going to cement, you need to um, use something like this.